as mean as the Dickens. Why are you so mean? Yeah, Beta, how you doing? Staying down there these days, huh? That's right, that's right. Uh-huh, that's what I thought. Check it out, guys. Looky here, we are loaded with persimmons all the way to the tippy top. You can see here, going into right at the beginning of fall. Oh, hush, Beta. <laughs> um, we're starting to turn, look at them. Aren't they beautiful? They are so pretty. Oh, mama. Okay, guys, this is what we're going to be doing. Look, Miss Flora. Let me rub your belly, mama. Look, watch her. She's like, massage. You can massage that. Yeah, good girl. Looky here. Now, she is not missing hair there. That's just a reflect. That's just a different color. Looky here. So, she's, she's kind of light, ashy color down here. Look at big mama here. Tolly. How many are we gonna have, Tolly? Woo, girlfriend. <laughs> no, say, oh, hi, Tolly. <laughs> so, hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. I thought I would do an update video on my goats and my goaty girls. Um, everybody seems to be progressing. Welcome back to the channel. Everybody seems to be progressing. Everybody has an appetite, <laughs> so. Um, it does look like all of the girls are doing really well. I think we're going to... Now, listen. What I say is not necessarily how it's all going to turn out. It's just like you or your sister or your mama or whoever, when they were expecting, you know, you have all these plans. It's that whole deal of mom plans and God laughs. Isn't that right, mama? Yes. So, I'm going to show you some of the girls. We have some developments going on. Um, and I want to document that because I like to keep up with it. And we're trying to kind of guesstimate a little bit of who's doing what or what's going on with who. But that doesn't mean that's how it's going to go, does it, honey? Oh, good friend. Thank you, honey. So we have Miss Shosho and her horns, as you, we talked about a couple of videos ago, I still have a nice gap in here and they're twisting out. So we're watching them. I haven't called the vet yet. Cause I know you're gonna ask me, honey, let me rub your belly, honey. Let me rub your belly, honey. Oh goodness. I know. So we're watching Scout. She's one, she's one of my younger girls. This will be her first set of babies. If she has a set of babies, we don't know. But her udder is big time developing. Her teats are swelling. Y'all are nosy. Y'all are just nosy. <laughs> So, Katniss would be a first-time mommy. Yeah. Scout will be a first-time mommy. Tolly will be a first-time mommy. Shosho will be a first-time mommy. Bibi, look at Bibi. Oh, Bibi. We have Minnie Pearl here. <laughs> You're nosy, honey. Minnie Pearl here will be a first-time mommy. Yes. What are you doing, two socks? You pretty boy. Say hi to everybody. Miss, Mr. Two Socks there. Yep. Two Socks. Now, what were we talking about, girl? You're resting a lot. I'm really watching you. Oh. Yeah, did you see Daddy there? Mm -hmm. So, we're trying to decide. Is that a bee on my hand? Probably. My hands are awful, y'all. My fingers are cracking and bleeding and everything. It's awful. Splitting. So, I'm going to have to put some uh, cream on them. What do you use? I know a lot of people use like Utter Balm, and I do have some creams, but I'll tell you something. Let me, this is a little bit of a squirrel moment. Um, if you can get your hands on some tallow, specifically, if it's hard, it won't be, unless you're a hunter, or you know somebody that hunts Yona, uh, I will tell you that I was gifted from a friend recently a jar, a full jar of bear tallow, Yona. And that is the best skincare ever. I know. So y'all that go, she buys 
chemicals at Walgreens or at uh, Dollar General. Yes, I, I keep a stocked pantry, but my go-tos are natural. And if you want to use the best doggone skincare that there is out there, Yona. Sister, who just burped? Sister, that is the turkey hole. That was not create. That's where the turkeys dust bathe. The cat is, sister, you are savage. What is going on? Ugh. I know. This is my baby. Shosho, she is my baby. Shosho is my baby. So Shosho was born. She was a set of triplets. If you remember when we moved here a couple years ago. So my registered Nubian that, uh, look, that's all torn out. We got to get rid of that. That's going. It's going. It's leaving. Um, it was actually covered in wood. It fell down. Um, that's what happens. Um, so Shosho is, is a triplet, aren't you, baby? She was actually the firstborn. That's why her name is Shoglu. That's one in Cherokee. And Piper, who was the mama at the time, full, full Nubian, she kind of abandoned her and was in, was still in labor. And then she had Tolly and Joey, at, that's two and three, yeah, in Cherokee. Um, she literally birthed, I'm not joking, I have it on video. She was pushing out two babies at the same time. And she started tending to the last two, the twins basically, at the same time. And so little Show Show kind of became abandoned. So I had to literally work with her and we saved her. And we ended up going ahead and bottle feeding all three of the babies. And we would bring them back with the mama during the day or whatever and just watch them. But they were predominantly um, bottle fed. So that's why you're seeing some of these, some of these goats are really loving and sweet and all of that. The ones that are aloof, that tend to be more independent, like, I see you, you can give me a treat, but don't bother me, I'm not coming over there. Those are the ones that were typically raised by mamas. So here's the dilemma. So we're getting ready uh, for next month at some point to have a bunch of goat babies. You can clearly see, and we've got things that we're working on and all this stuff. Um, but I'm trying to decide specifically when do we think we're going to see things? I have it generically down that we could start seeing babies by or around or on Halloween day, but that doesn't mean that it's necessarily going to be that way. You can see goat kids. You know, if, you, if you're in the zone of 150 days, which is what you're gonna ask me, um, you can actually start seeing them five days earlier or five days later. But that doesn't mean that all of these girls were all bred exactly at the same time. In fact, I don't think that they were. So, I mean, I could be having goat kids from Halloween day, October 31st, all the way into December. And I've said that before, but that's what this video is basically about. So, what I want to do is, I'm debating it really. I really want to take this out because it's warped and we're going to put up wood. And then I like to have this as a, it's an extra backup stall. I have in use over here in the barn four good stalls that I can use. One of them does have some rabbits in it and cages, but if I have to put them up, I might have to move some things around if I have to move them around and um, I don't know, put some goat mamas in there instead. We're gonna have to go with the flow on that, but I've got four good stalls. So I know for a fact due to past experience with the size of my stalls, I can easily put two or three moms in each stall, no problem with babies. But I'm thinking about, as I told you, us getting some more, instead of making it a, a permanent kennel situation, excuse me, a permanent stall situation here, um, we just get these kennels, okay? They're 10 by 10s. And then, you know, they create a really nice stall and we can cover them up, we can put a tarp over them, we can do whatever we need to do to kind of insulate them a little bit more, straw, all of that. So we're working towards that. We need to work faster though because I don't want to have major rain. And we're gonna to try to flatten this out and then bring at least one more in. So see, this one was an old one that we brought from the old house and we've used it. And the reason you're seeing it so tore up in reality is because, well, I had a bull and he came over here and he pushed it all around. Yeah, girl. Pushed it all around. And then we just basically kind of 
used it to the point where we can't use it anymore. I mean, it's just, it's just salvaged. Now. We barely salvaged it. So we want to get some new ones. It'll be a lot cheaper too than buying all the materials to really fully encase in a full stall. And like I said, if you've got these 10 by 10 kennels, yes, they've eaten some of that. <laughs> Did you do it? No, Mike would never do that. Um, but that way, if we use kennels, whether it's here or in there or whatever, we can always take them down and move them. My shirt is not, no, you can't eat my shirt. Stop, stop, stop. They want more Fig Newtons, you know. Now, baby down here, she was born pretty much as a surprise. Um, and her mama didn't raise her. I raised her as well. I raised a lot of these babies, uh, goat babies, by hand and by bottle. So, but that right there has got to be come out. We've got to try to flatten it out. I can't decide if I'm going to make one stall or two, but we've got to get moving. Ginger. Gingy. Are you the star of the show, honey? Huh? Are you? Is that what you... Oh. Don't fall off like you did the other day, rolling around, rolling around. Excuse you? Excuse you. <laughs> Scout. Be nice to her. She's getting an udder. Your TTs are coming in, girlfriend. Girlfriend, everybody went over. Can we, let's talk about it. Are you feeling okay, girlfriend? Huh? You look okay. Okay, so we have Meriwether, one of my oldest girls, and we have Salt, both expecting. And they are absolutely loving the hay. Hey, girls, let me pull this up, okay? Let's pull this up. Everybody's bounced it down. Can I do that? Are you standing on it? Meriwether, you're standing on it. There we go. Much better, girlfriends. All right. Hey, boo. Hey, boo. You doing okay? You gonna say hi to everybody? That's Boo Radley. We finally have put him back out because Beta was beating up on him because Beta is a meanie. Yes. So here's Miss Daffodil. You can see in the past two months or so, she's really put on some good weight. We wanted to do that before we bred her. We really wanted her to acclimate here on the farm. Yes, get used to us. Hi, sweetheart. I know, honey. Oh, that muddy nose is so cute. But we wanted to get her here. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. Um, we wanted to get her here like we did in late June, have her acclimate to the farm, um, and really have her adjust. And I wanted to get some weight on her. You can see we've really accomplished that. So, hey, girl, I think it's time you become a mommy soon, too. What do you think? Hmm? Um, excuse me. Come up here. I got to talk. What are you doing? Is that sister? No, that's Fritz. Hey, what are you doing? No, that's sister. Girlfriend, that's poopy pants right there. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing is I'm walking up here because all the goats like to come up to the farthest, one of the further, further farthest pastures right now to kind of graze and nibble around. But when it starts to get dark, which we're getting dark now, about 7.50 at night, and they'll start coming back together and they'll line up. It's the funniest thing you've ever seen. They just sort of stand there by the gate like, we know we're supposed to put ourselves up, but we're all gonna wait on each, I don't know, it's, <laughs> you think the gate's closed on them or something and it has, it just, it's like they're just standing there. But when it gets a little bit darker, they, they go and put themselves up over on the other side. So uh, the cows don't go over there. We, we make just enough space so that the goats can get through but the cows cannot, and they haven't pushed it. They haven't tested it yet. So that's what we're hoping will continue. I don't see why it won't. 
But like I said, what I'm trying to do right now is to make sure that I have all of the things that I need. Maybe you can help me come up with some a, a list of it if I'm forgetting something. So like a lot of nipples for bottles. I will make my, my own. Um, if I stop for a second. My goal is and hope is that all of these really good mamas and babies, well, they're my babies, all these really good goaty girls um, that are really close to me have a successful birth and they can raise their babies. The ones that let me handle them and love on them all the time, I'm really hoping and praying that they can raise their own babies. And because I have so much better access to with them, that I will to their babies. The ones that are a little aloof, they are what they are. So we're gonna go with the flow on that. So I'll work with that. So I'd like to say that I'm gonna milk this goat or I'm gonna milk that goat. Um, I've only milked two, I think, of these girls. In the past, all the goats that I um, particularly milked are no longer with us. So they got older and you know, after so many years, things happen. So um, there's a couple girls though that I have milked in the past. They were good, but I didn't really focus on them because I had other goats that I was predominantly milking. So this whole thing that, that's gonna be happening starting the end of next month, um, I, you know, this is what I'm saying. I can tell you what I think. I can show you things. Uh, we can make predictions, but it'll be the opposite. So we're kind of going with it. But, so I, but I, what I'm doing is I'm estimating, guesstimating how many goat kids we could have and how many I'm kind of preparing for in my mind that I could end up bottle raising just by default. Could be four, could be two, could be zero, could be 10, I don't know. We need to make one of those little stand doohickeys. Have you seen that? Where they put the goat, that, before they bring the goat babies in, it's a stand and you can put the bottles in and then the babies come in and they all have their own little bottle. Uh, that would be heaven. I haven't had that before, so that will be a new thing. I've, I keep sending videos to James. <laughs> I need this. Get on it. He's got so many projects. He don't even know which day of the week it is anymore. Uh, but that's the way it is. So, uh, you know, I'm just preparing basically all the things that I know I'm going to need. The, the molasses, um, probably the jump start. I know I have colostrum. It's a little bit older in the freezer, but I do have some. Um, syringes. Um you know, my new thermometer, gloves, betadine, you know, all the stuff, birthing stuff. So do me a favor. If you do this, which a lot of you do, list your items. Like, just give me a list of like 10, 12 items. Because I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm just going over things every day through my books and everything. But I might miss something. You never know. You never know. What are the things just to get me through the birthing and through the first couple of days? Towels, 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 straw. Um, see, I'm going over this in my mind. So this is what we've got going on. It's going to be pretty busy. And like I said, I may have told you this. I put my, my family on notice. They were like, will you please? They always want me to cook the turkey for Thanksgiving. Hi, Daft Deal. They want me to cook the turkey. And I said, sure. I said, but hey, <laughs> I'll do it. But just know that if I've got a goat giving birth, you ain't getting your turkey that day. You can come to my house and get you a slice of turkey because <laughs> that's where it's going to be because I'm not packing it up to go anywhere if I have to be with my goats. Daphne, you're so good. Well, guys, we appreciate you. I thought I would just update you um, with what's going on. Scout came over here. Good. She's over here. All of them are over here. I'm just watching Scout. Um, the other, like, I, like you saw, there are others that are that are bigger, but they've already had, some of them have already had babies before once or twice. Um, but I've got a couple of new mamas. Um, BB and Scout, while they're doing fine, there's, you know, um, you, you know how you felt like the last couple of weeks of being pregnant? It's like you just didn't want to do anything. You just want to lay there and eat and be cool. They're kind of doing that. And her udder uh, is really the first to really just start popping out there with her teats. So I'm really watching her. We'll see. All right, guys. Wanted to update you. We appreciate you being here. If you have questions, let me know. If you have, I know you girls out there, you guys too, but mostly you women that are milkmaids like me, what, what? Write it down. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. Let's go over the list because I may not be the only one about to have goat babies, so lists are good, okay? All right, like, subscribe, and share. I'm gonna go find my beautiful husband. <laughs> Ginger, girlfriend, we're not running tonight. I'm gonna eat ice cream. Sounds good. Like, subscribe, and share. Y'all take care out there, and we'll see you on the next video. Godspeed.